Good day everyone, welcome back to my channel, Solis Life. Today I'll be showing you the pieces that I'm going to be working with. So first we have the left side of the top with liner on the armhole and liner on the neckline shoulders and waist next I'm going to show you the right side of the top so we have the right side of the top which is shoulder we also have the liner for the armhole and we also have the liner for the neckline and this is the right side of the top and now for the back area we have the back of the top cut in a fold we have the liner for the armhole the liner for the neckline also on the other side, the liner for the neckline and the liner for the armhole. I pin them down to the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch the liner on the shoulder and the armhole with the seam allowance. So I'm going to do the liner first. Also on the front section, I'm going to do the, stitch the liner on the neckline and I'm also going to stitch the liner on the armhole. And then we have the other side of the top. I'm going to stitch the armhole liner and I'm going to stitch the neckline liner. So I'm going to go ahead and stitch all the liners together. And when I'm done doing that, I'll be back to show you what it looks like. It's going to be a lined right top, so I'm going to be showing you the pieces with the liner. So what I did was I pinned the liner already on to the pattern piece. The pattern piece is going to cut the exact same way as the liner. The only difference is the front pattern pieces, you do the dots first and then cut the liner. But I'm going to show you now. So here we have the back with seam allowance already added in and the liner. So this is the back section. And here we have one side of the front section. So we have the liner and the front pattern. There's also a dot that may or may not could be used in the pattern. So like I said before, if you're going to make the top with a side or a start, you have to stitch, cut the pattern, stitch the dart, and then cut the liner. If you're not going to put a dart, go ahead and cut the liner the exact same way. Here we have the other side of the front liner. So we have the top front pattern and the liner pattern. Cut the same side. Also, once again, if you're going to put a dart, you're going to have to sew the dart down and then cut the liner pattern. So I just did this here to show you. If you're not going to put a dart, go ahead and just cut the exact same pattern. If you are going to put a dart, stitch the outer layer dart and then cut the liner. So these are all the pattern pieces. Also, there is also another option to put the strap. 
You can make a wrap top without a strap. And you also could do a strap. So the strap size depends on you. Whether you want it an inch, inch and a half, half of an inch, it's fine. Go ahead and make your strap. It's simple. It's easy to make a strap. You just cut the size that you want, double, and you just stitch the open edges and turn it over. Here we have the back section, liner and outer piece sewn and what I did was I just turned it over. So this is what it looks like. So this will be the outer liner and this is what you're going to see on the outside. So this would be the back section of the top. And here we have front side of the top, the liner sewn on also, and the dot is sewn on. So this is what it looks like after you follow the steps that I show you. This is what the top should look like. So this is one side of the front. Then we have the other side. So we have the left side, the right side, and the back of the top. So this will, look, this will be the side of the top, the dot is already sewn, and the liner is sewn on. So this is what it's looked like. My next step on doing the top, what I'm going to do is attach the strap. I did say before that you can and cannot use a strap. If you choose to put a strap in, which is this is a strap. If you choose to put a strap in, you're going to turn the top back from this way, you're going to turn it over. So you're just going to go ahead, gather it up, and pull this part out. Then you're going to take the top, the strap section, you're going to line the outside and the inside together. So the inner liner and the outer aligner is going to match. So the outer aligner is a different color than the inner liner. So you go ahead, face them together like this. You go ahead and pin it down. And then you're just going to stitch right here. After you're stitching right here, you're just going to turn it back this way, right side. And that's going to be the strap. So that's the strap for one side of the top. So here we have the back of the top, and this is the front side of the top. The other strap, both the straps are going to meet at the joining of the front. So wherever the front strap that joins on the waist, that's the one I'm putting it on. So this side of the top would be the other side where you're going to join this together. So it's going to be like this, where you're joining the sides together. So wherever you're joining the sides, you're going to go ahead, take the strap, place it, and then put it down. So the strap is going to be coming this way. So you go ahead and you just stitch the sides. So that's how you're going to join one, the front strap. So one of the, the other strap is going to be joined on the front longer section of the top. And the next strap is going to be joined on the sides of the top. So I'm going to go ahead now and stitch the sides together and join the straps to the top. And then I'll be back to show you what it looks like. Here we have the straps sewn on to the front section of the top. We also have the other strap sewn on to the side section of the top. The dots are in and this is the finished top. Thank you again for visiting my channel. See you again on my next video.